Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way. Rob Dukan here. Reports have come out that Anthony, Anthony Dal Silva, the Brazilian who plays for Ajax, might be going to Manchester United. Might be going to Manchester United. And this source, for those of you who love sources, from Gold.com, Brazilian, uh, Gold.com, Brazilian journalist, and also the Mirror, uh, <clears throat> an outlet in the UK. Many have uh, started picking on it. This story came out like one one hour ago and uh, some couple of hours ago to be honest and uh, i've been seeing it uh, i didn't take it serious because it was from gold.com brazil you know anthony is a brazilian he played in brazil uh, in um is it flamengo no i think sao paulo yeah that's sao paulo and sao paulo would love to cash into anthony in the bar no uh, when you sell players there are some there are some quotas that you give so if a player starts in your club let me say an african club Let's say Aseka Bijam and, and uh, the player comes to Manchester you know, and, and plays for a Belgian team. When the Belgian team sells, they call it resale value. When the Belgian team sells the player, you, the, you, the player, the owner, the guy in Asek, Alex Asek has a percentage of that sale. So the Brazilian, um, uh, the Brazilian um, <clears throat> club, uh, Sao Paulo, would love to cash on in. And also, Ajax also would love to cash on uh, Anthony because if you look at Anthony, which is a very good player, by the way, you see... He is, um, I mean, I don't see if he can make 50, 50, 60 million euros. Today it's like 51 million pounds. I don't think him playing for Ajax again, his value might go up. I mean, it would be a smart thing for Ajax to sell this player because Ajax will make at least some money for themselves. Uh, uh, and that is, that is the, the business plan for Ajax. We sell three players every season, three of our main players and build up the team. So um, take that on board. Anthony, as I said, will be, might be coming. I didn't say he has signed. I don't say this is not a deal done thing. And um, uh, uh, or a uh, deal agreed. I've said, I've, what I'm saying now is that sources, football, I'm not a transfer specialist. Transfer specialist have uh, said that uh, Manchester Ajax is willing to sell Anthony for a certain price, which is 60 million euros. If you convert it, it's going to be like 51 million. And guys, before I continue, please smash a like on this video. Thanks for all of you who have been supporting this video. There's something I need to make it clear. This is a football fan channel, Manchester football fan channel. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, please. And fuck off from here. I don't want people who will be. I, I come here and read. And um, I am not a transfer journalist. I am a fan for Manchester United like you are. And if you want to be a part of this community, you can drop your comments. We can have a chat. The reason why I don't go live now and I'll be doing live in my watch along that's where, when games are going on. It's because we talk with fans. We talk football related. But now we're in the transfer season and there will be a lot of news coming up. There will be times where I'm on holiday. I will just need to go live and post a video about certain players. Because that is what I love doing. It's my club. It's a club I love. If you, if you want to create your own channel, you can do it. But why am I saying this? Because I need to spend one minute. I post some of these videos on Facebook and some idiots just come and say fake news. They don't even read. I don't know if they went to school or anything. So... Um, <clears throat> They, 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 nobody comes in front of a, uh, a camera and give um, information just because they want to give it. It's because these are rumors. This is transfer and rumors. So please, my African brothers, I call it African brothers because I know that there are lots of Africans who, who are here as well in the community. Manchester United has one of the biggest fans, fan base who are based in Africa. And that's why I, I, I call my African brothers. Please, if you want to have some, if you have some opinion, please, I mean, drop it, drop your information below. There is no problem with that. You can criticize for anything, but I mean, we are just talking about our beloved club. So let's go straight. I think I've talked a lot about that. Sorry about that. So the, the, for those of you who came here for information here, yeah, I'm not really feeling well. If you see, I'm sweating actually because I had a cold. Uh, as I said, United is uh, uh, United is interested in Ant Anthony. And also, they have also a report also that United hasn't given up on them, uh, Darwin Nunes. But I think with Danny Nunes, I think it's already set. It's already set on stone. Danny Nunes will be. In, will, I mean, United will not go on a a, a bid of, of uh, a transfer bid with David Nunes. I think Nunes, if Liverpool wants to pay what he want, they want they want to pay the one hundred million dollars or euros is is theirs to pay. Oh, fuck. I'm really sweaty. They have to pay, guys. I'll be glad if you can support me with the video and just smash a like on this video. I'm feeling really bad. I have a cold um, and uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Or, uh, I mean, United fans, those positive people out there, not those wankers who have nothing to do in their life. But anyway, as I said, there are a lot of things going on now. The window kicks off uh, tomorrow and uh, you, there are some behind the scenes activities, not only with Manchester United, with other teams. 
we we know that uh, our biggest problem this season is the midfield and there is uh, I, I talked about Sangara the Ivorian our brother African uh, 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 who plays for Space Vendoven I talked about how, what United we need to do how we can build up can I take this down please um, how we can we can build up our team for next season and uh, what is necessary for us to get to get it to get a, a, I mean a, a complete team we are not a team that is fighting for for the championship we are not the team who is fighting for 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 the premier league that's what i mean exactly but i think we need a t we need uh players that can produce i mean can at least qualify for champions in next year because it will be a disaster if we can do it two years talking about uh frankie de, de young which i said earlier in the video i thought it was be my last video today since i'm not feeling well yes the thing is that there is a deal. Fabrizio Romano has come out and said it clear that Barcelona, if Barcelona uh, has told Javi already, Barcelona has told Javi, has told Javi the pre the, the manager for, for Barcelona. So Laporte, the president, has told Javi that we have to cash in on Frankie De Jong. And Javi has said, okay, yes, I, I mean, has accepted. I, I've come to uh, realize that this is what will happen. So uh, Javi's, you know, Javi's um, input was, uh, idea was, if we can sell De Jong, uh, if we can bring in a player like David Silva from Manchester City, that would be a fantastic thing. So there is something going on between David Silva coming to Barcelona, Barcelona, and um, that uh, the money which we, we uh, Barcelona will receive from Manchester United from Frankie De Jong will go to Silva. But the, all you can see it two ways. Also, you know, in this situation of Silva, it's uh, I'm a bit worried about such a. A scenario why because just think about him david silver manchester city has the game here manchester city is wealthy they have money money right barcelona has a financial reason that's the only reason they're selling they want to sell and um barcelona barcelona or manchester city can tell barcelona you know guys let's do an exchange of player plus some cash if barcelona really wants silver I think they won't sell Silva, which arguably was, I mean, maybe the best player of the season last year, in my view. Um, David Silva, the Portuguese playmaker, and I think it, he, it won't go cheap either because um, City will want extra ordinary, extraordinary money from, from David Silva. Considering it also, we often also know how many years he does have in his contract also with City in order to know if that is possible on City's side. But anyway, that's City's issue. Our problem is... Uh, it's Frankie de Jong, and uh, but uh, if you're just jumping in, I just uh, the video today is about a certain Antonio da Silva, very good um, uh, attacker. He plays with the wing, he plays with both legs, but he's a left actually, but he can shoot with both legs very well. I think Antonio is somebody that most of you have been very excited of. I've seen this in most of the the the, uh, the groups, the Facebook groups, Manchester Facebook groups in in in. Uh, in our African community, I've seen most of you were talking about the, the Anthony and uh, the, this message, this news has just come out. And it is, you know, I, I, the last time I heard about Anthony was like almost um, uh, three weeks ago. And now, because <clears throat> the transfer is coming next, uh, coming uh, starting tomorrow, this um, uh, name has come to light. So w what do we expect? And, uh, I think, what do I think about uh, Anthony coming in? I think is it uh, is it possible for Anthony to come in? I think it's possible. Why? Because Manchester United had a fantastic relationship with with uh, Real uh, with um, Ajax Amsterdam. Um, Ajax Amsterdam. I think this is a time where I think they would like to catch on the player. That's I think I've said that before. So I think it would depend more on. It's easier. The, the, what I'm worried is that if they sell, they have already sold Gravenberg, right? And there's another defender who's have sent sell sold. And Ajax never sells more than three of their top players, maximum four. And if they sell, and if they sell Anthony, I'm, I think they will not want to sell Timba. Anthony is 23. He's a Brazilian. Timba is a local lad, and uh, he's just 20. I think they will, they will try to put, they will try to press Timba to stay. So um, we will we'll get you guys information as to the news progress. Guys, I'm not feeling well, as I said, but. I just wanted to drop this information because I have spoken, to, I have decided to myself on the channel that uh, I want to <laughs> to share with my fans. I think you guys are five of you active here <clears throat> about transfer. And the only thing you can support and when you see my videos is just like the videos and share also with other Manchester United fan, uh, fans. 
Well, guys, I don't know what you're doing, what, what you're doing, what you intend to do. I don't know, but I want to leave you guys here and ask you guys a question, which is very simple. Tell me what will be your ideal transfer window for Manchester United, not football manager. I mean, ideal. I give you 150 million, let me say 120 million pounds, which is roughly 150, 140 or 135, 40 million euros. Will, which players will you bring to Manchester United? Hope y'all get some replies on this one. Well, guys, make sure you drop uh, your comments below. Get involved, share the channel, and uh, yeah, talk to you to the next on the next one. Bye bye.